நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் சமீபத்தில் நான் பேசின தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கில மொழிபெயர்ப்போட ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசப்பட்டு தீபா அவர்களால் பேசப்பட்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு நல்ல வரவேற்பை பெற்று வருகின்றன அப்படிங்கிறது எல்லோருக்குமே தெரியும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நாற்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் என்னுடைய தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்த்து போடப்பட்டு வருகின்றன மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை எல்லோருமே நல்லா வெல்கம் பண்ணுறீங்க தெரியுது இப்பொழுது ஏற்கனவே நான் பேசிய பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தனித்தனி கிரகங்கள் அதாவது பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் சூரியன் சந்திரன் செவ்வாய் ராகு உள்ளிட்ட ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் எந்த நிலையில் எப்படி இருந்தால் நல்ல பலன்களை தரும் என்பதை பேசிய ஒரு மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை பெற்ற பன்னிரெண்டு லக்ன வீடியோக்கள் இப்போது ஒவ்வொன்றாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு அடுத்தடுத்து உங்களுக்கு வர இருக்கிறது இதில் என்ன ஒரு சிறப்பு என்னென்னா அவ்வப்போது உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் பேசிய சில விளக்கங்கள் சில சூற்றுமங்களை கூட தீபா அவர்கள் வந்து இந்த நடுவில் இந்த பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் தனித்தனியே என்ன பலன்களை செய்யும் என்ற ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு நடுவே என்னுடைய உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் சொன்ன கருத்துக்களையும் இணைத்து தனித்தனி வீடியோவாக வெளியிட இருக்கிறார்கள் வழக்கம் போலவே இந்த ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு உங்களுடைய வரவேற்பு இருக்கும் என்பதை நம்புகிறேன் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் பிராட் டு யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த டமு வீடியோ ஆஃப் அ ரெனவுண்ட் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் ஜோதிஷ் மகாகுரு ஆதித்ய குருஜி த லிங்க் ஆஃப் த ஒரிஜினல் வேர்ஷன் தட் இஸ் அ டமுல் வீடியோ இஸ் கிவன் இன் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பாக்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் வீடியோ This is Astrologer Deepa and I am presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. In my last video, I explained the effects of sun in different houses for the native of Scorpio Ascendant. In this video, I am going to explain the effects of sun in different houses for the native of Sagittarius Ascendant. Well, for the native of Sagittarius Ascendant, Sun is the lord of the ninth house. When sun resides in Sagittarius, that is ascendant house itself, it is beneficial to a certain extent. Since sun is the lord of the ninth house, it will definitely deliver its ninth house effects. Here we cannot bring the concept that sun is an ascendant house and it is not favorable. When sun resides in Sagittarius, it will not do any worse effects. When sun resides in the second house, as per Bhavat Bhavam, it will be in the sixth house to its own house Leo. When sun resides in Capricorn, that is second house, the planetary position is sort of okay, not much favorable. Since sun is lord of ninth house and resides in the second house, it will not deliver very bad effects. Let me now explain the effect of sun in the third house which is Aquarius. This position is good to a certain extent because when sun resides in Aquarius, it will aspect its own house which is house of gains. When sun resides in Aquarius, the ninth house lord, which is sun, aspect its own house, which is house of gains, and strengthens it. Definitely, there will not be any bad effects. When sun resides in Pisces, which is fourth house to the ascendant, whose house lord is Jupiter, it is said to be favorable. Pisces is another own house of Jupiter. When sun resides in Pisces, there is one more point that we have to remember. It aspects the 10th house to the ascendant. This planetary position establishes the connection between 9th and 10th house. Therefore, sun, when it resides in Pisces, establishes the connection of the house of Dharma and Karma and thus giving Dharma Karma Tibadi Yoga. Sun, being lord of 9th house, aspects the 10th house to the ascendant. Let me repeat the points. Sun resides in 4th house to the ascendant. 
this house is another own house of ascendant lord and this is house of a benefic and sun aspects the 10th house from the 4th house so there is a connection of 4th house 9th house and 10th house since there is a connection of 9th and 10th house it is called as dharma karma adipati yoga so this will not deliver any worse effects and it will deliver certain benefits now let me explain the position of sun in 5th house to the ascendant when sun resides in aries which is 5th house to the ascendant house it is not considered to be favorable because i have already told the malefic should not be the lord of trine sun which is the lord of 9th house now resides in aries in the 5th house there it gets exalted as well this will create putra dosha this is not such an auspicious position for sun you know the very general rule is a malefic should reside in the quadrant and a benefic should reside in the trine having said this the way that we have to perceive sun is the lord of 9th house which is 50% benefic 50% malefic gets exalted in 5th house here sun will not deliver any benefits when sun gets subhatva by aspect of jupiter or connection of venus it will do certain benefits in the professional life like uh, growth in profession it will deliver administrative positions etc but in personal life of the native there will definitely be some shortcomings please try to understand what i say when i say that sun will not deliver any yoga what does it mean it will deliver a lot of growth in professional life but there will not be a good rapport with wife and children here sun will deliver a lot of money authority etc this might even give positions such as general manager mla a big position in a political party or in an organization this is the subtlety behind the effect of sun in 5th house for the native of sagittarius ascendant this native will have a big name in the society but in personal life there will be a failure this person will have a good reputation in their society will be a dignified person in the society but in personal life there will be some shortcomings there will be some issues related to the children for example the person whom the entire nation calls as mahatma gandhi was not much loved by his own son once his son quoted mahatma gandhi might be the father of the nation but not for us this sort of rapport will be there between the father and the son therefore son will reduce its benefits here now let me explain the effect of son in 6th house 6th house is the house of taurus whose house lord is venus a general rule is the lord of 9th house should not be in the 6th house to the ascendant a luminous planet should not reside in the 6th house to the ascendant house therefore when sun resides in 6th house to the ascendant house it will not definitely deliver benefits to the native of sagittarius ascendant the only antidote here is subhatva of the sun when sun resides in gemini it is not considered to be favorable sun which is lord of the 9th house resides in 7th house and it aspects the ascendant house i said when sun resides in ascendant it is said to be favorable but not when sun aspects the ascendant house next position is sun in the house of cancer the house lord of cancer is moon when sun resides in cancer it is in the 8th house to the ascendant this position is totally unfavorable 
Indeed, this is the house of moon, which is a friendly planet to the sun. However, the lord of ninth house should not be in the eighth house to the ascendant house. And as per Bhavad Bhavam, when sun resides in Cancer, it will be in the twelfth house to its own house, which is ninth house to the ascendant. Having said this, when sun resides in Cancer, it is not considered to be favorable. The antidote is nothing but the concept of Subhatva. Subhatva can alter this effect. Whenever I say a planet will not deliver good effects, you can definitely consider the antidote as the connection of natural benefits such as Jupiter, Venus or waxing moon with good light energy. So please try to remember the concept of Subhatva. And wherever I say that this will not deliver effects or this is worse in addition in addition to those situations, if the planet is in connection with Saturn or Rahu, then it will dig a grave for the native and it will bury the native in the grave. This is how a Pabatva of a planet will do. So please try to understand the effects of Pabatva and Subhatva. When sun resides in its own house Leo, which is ninth house to the ascendant house, it will not have much worse effects because you know sun is 50% benefic as well. We can perceive that sun will deliver more benefits when it is in 10th house rather than in the ninth house. When sun resides in Leo, which is its own house, it will be in the ninth house to the ascendant. Sun gains directional strength that is Digbala in 10th house. Sun is 50% benefic and 50% malefic. And this malefic quality overwhelms the benefic quality. It pushes behind the good quality of the sun. Based on this concept, what you have to understand is when sun resides in ninth house, it will deliver benefits to a certain extent and when sun resides in 10th house, it will deliver more benefits than in the ninth house because natural malefic in Kendra house, that is quadrant house, is better than its position in the trine house. In case if there is parivartan of the planets between the 10th and the 9th, it delivers more auspiciousness. Sun is near Digbala in the ninth house and it gains directional strength in the 10th house and in 11th house also it is in the belt of directional strength. Sun in the 11th house will not do such worse effects to the native. Please try to understand the concept. The Lord of 9th house is in the 11th house and therefore sun will deliver a lot of benefits. When sun is not in connection with Rahu or Ketu, definitely it will do immense benefits to the native. When sun resides in 11th house, it is in the house of Venus which is Libra and it will deliver benefits to the native. Now let me explain the effects of sun in 12th house which is Scorpio. When sun resides in Scorpio, it is not considered to be favorable because lord of 9th house should not be in the 12th house to the ascendant. It will not deliver very bad effects. Then what will be the shortcoming in this case? There will be some shortcoming related to the house effects that is 9th house. Because Sun is the Lord of 9th house to the native of Sagittarius Ascendant. Being a luminous planet and Lord of 9th house, Sun should not be in the 12th house to the Ascendant house. Well, this is question time. For the native of Sagittarius Ascendant, when Sun resides in Aries where it gets exalted, what will be the shortcoming 
that the native will face. Please write your answers in the comment section of this video. In the description box, we have added the playlist link of all English videos so far published. The link of Aditya Gurji's website is given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both iOS and Android users. The link of Google Play Store app is also given in the description box that is available for only Android users. The Tamil version of this video is also available. Please check the description box. Write your feedback to astro.writeus at gmail.com. Thank you.